and welcome to back chat i'm your host Timba madima this evening we are chatting to a speedster a youngster that goes by the name of benjamin richardson he's in the building with us this evening so yeah we're gonna have a good time guys welcome to everybody hope you guys are good this is powered by backtrack sports yes sir it is a monday uh, which means it's a very good time to have very good conversations with some of SA's best athletes. I see you guys, Kesa, Casey, Kesa Mulutane. We see you, Andre Rasmus, Danny. Welcome, everybody. Oh, Gabriel Lowe. I see you, Jean Rousseau. I see you, Athletic for Almo. I see you, Shoba Brand, Fancy WW. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we're chatting to Benjamin Richardson today. Dario Matau, I see you. So we're just gonna wait for him to log in and then we're gonna get going. I hope you guys are doing well. Yeah, it's been a while since we had a good chat. So we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. It's Monday. If you have any questions, guys, make sure to post those. We're gonna take as many as possible. We've got a youngster who is quick, he's a fast man uh, with us today. Let's hear what he has to say. It goes by the name of Benjamin Richardson. I'm gonna send him a request soon. So welcome guys. Good evening, welcome to Back Chat. Yes sir. Awesome, awesome chat uh, lined up for today. Always good chatting with the athletes. I see Mervyn800 is sending an invite here. Just waiting for Benjamin to log on and then we're gonna get this party started. Good evening everybody. What's good? What's good? A lot happening. Olympics around the corner. It's cut off. So the squads need to go in. And then we will see who is gonna be the athletes, who are gonna be the athletes representing South Africa. At the Olympic Games. Anita, I see you. RW, Michelle, Lafrange, I see you. Welcome, guys. Pietras 800, baby. Welcome to you guys. <laughs> Good to see you. Alright. Just waiting for the young man, Karabo. I see you. Welcome, everybody. Like I said, Olympics is around the corner. Exciting times coming up. Yo, athletes are running fast. Um, this man in here is a youngster, 17 years old. He's also fast. Wait for Nikerk is back. Akani Simbini is winning races. Um, so it's, it's a good time. It's a good time for South African athletics. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to see what's going to happen. Obviously, the 4x1 is a big topping point. 4x4, four four, they can also, you know, who knows. Um, so we'll touch on that uh, squad as soon as we've got the official squad. I think it's going to be an exciting talking point. Team South Africa, who are you backing? Who do you think? How many medals do you think we're going to win? How many medals can we win? I think that will be a, a, a very nice poll to run. Paul Horis, the big man, the big coach. Um, he's the coach of uh, the youngster that's uh, with us now. Uh, so... It's gonna be an exciting one, just waiting for him to log on. And then we're gonna get going. Oh, hello, I see Adwoa Kebua. Says, hello, I am Benji's sister from the US. Welcome to you. Um, thanks for joining us all the way from the United States of America. Always a pleasure seeing everybody coming from all over to join us for these chats. Ah, Benji has joined, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just uh, send him an invite. And then we're going to... But like I said, a lot of a lot of exciting stuff happening in South African athletics at the moment. Oh, USA is looking strong. I see you, uh, Ryan J. Coltman. Yo, Benji. Yeah, uh, hello. What's good, man? How you doing? I'm good. And you? Cool, man. I was worried. I was thinking, hey, where, where's this young man at? You know, is he running away uh, from you? Where you at? <laughs> I kind of forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know your high school fellas, you always have to like check up on you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but how are you doing otherwise? You good, man? How are you doing otherwise? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. And you? 
Cool, cool, man. Yeah, I'm excited to to have this chat with you. Obviously, a lot of people tuning in to hear what uh, Benjamin Richardson has to say. Um, yeah. So we're excited, man. Thanks for joining us. No problem. Okay, so I'm gonna start with an introduction, and then from there on, we'll get into the chat. Uh, is that cool? No problem. Yeah. Super. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with us this evening, like I said, we've got a man by the name of Benjamin. Richardson he is the SA under 20 100 meter champion SA under 20 200 meter champion SA senior 200 meter silver medalist as well as the Treza National Senior School uh, series 100 and 200 meter champion ladies and gentlemen Benjamin Richardson <laughs> be, 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 be. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you for man. The big ups. <laughs> Thank you. Now, big ups, man. You've earned it. Uh, you've put in the work. And yeah, man, exciting times uh, ahead, you know. So let's mm. just start at the beginning, Benji. I want to get right into it. I can see you focused, you know. You've got your books on one side. Now you have to deal with this chat as well. <laughs> your yeah, nickname. Yeah, yeah. What is your nickname? Uh, my full name is Benjamin, but everyone calls me Benji. Benji, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Plain and simple, Benji. I've tried to get many other nicknames like Flash or something, but Benji just stuck. So, yeah, we go with it. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right, cool, Benji. So <clears throat> let's talk about your journey, man. Obviously, uh, for those who don't know, uh, I see your sister has uh, joined in all the way from the United States of America. Um, mm. Your, your journey to to athletics. Where did this start? Obviously, um, you also have you got dual. Is it do, do we call it dual citizenship? Uh, Ghana, uh, as well as the home of jollof rice, uh, as mm. well as uh, South Africa, the home of of pop and place. <laughs> yeah. So, where, where did your journey be, with athletics begin? So, from the beginning, primary school grade one. It started there. Yeah. I just started running. I won. And then, you know, it just carried on. I was good in Mpumalanga, but then, like in grade four, when it came to essays, I was always beat. It, it was no competition at all. Everyone was beating me. <laughs> and yeah, that's where I actually started to like the sport. Like losing actually made me want to win more. Yeah, yeah. And throughout time, I, left, I went to tax and then I started winning. And why not just carry on with that? Hey, man, why, again. why not carry on? So your, your, your yeah. journey to, to tax, man, um, how, how did this come about? Obviously, like you said, Mpumalanga, you're there, you're getting child. Uh, yeah. The child mentation uh, leads to you uh, deciding to come to uh, Pretoria. How, how, yeah. how does this come about? Do you get scouted or do you apply? How does it come about? So I went to essays in Portchestrum in grade nine. Yeah. And I saw these people wearing like night clothes and it looked so nice. <laughs> and that's the, one of the first reasons I actually wanted to go to tax because they were giving them free night clothes and, you know, why not? <laughs> but then I also did it in grade 10. I started running 10 eights. And so I was like, okay, I'm actually good here. Yeah. Where I don't have that much support and not that good training. So imagine if I go to tax. Hmm. And then they weren't scouting me. Uh, I wouldn't say I was great or good. So then my grandparents applied. And then they gave me a, a, a scholarship. So then I went to tax. I get night clothes now and I, I'm happy. I'm winning and I'm getting free clothes. Who doesn't <laughs> want that, to be honest? Yeah. Absolutely, man. I mean, uh, it's, it's a simple story. But a powerful mm. story, man. I mean, if if I look back, 2019, you come onto the scene, you run at essays, uh, and you get chowed. You 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 make it to the semi-final. You finish fifth in your semi-final. Yeah. Let's fast forward, 2020. You you end up on the top of the under 18 rankings with the 2101 COVID hits. We need to shut mm. it down. 2020, 2021. It's a different story, though. Different mm. animal, different Benji. What changed? 
You mean like change from 20, 2019 to 2021? Yeah, what change? I mean, it's a big change. I mean, I don't know. I don't, must I read the things that you've done or will you tell no, us what happened? It's all good. I, it's, <laughs> it's, to be honest, I also don't know what changed. Like from 2019, as I said, losing is what makes me like the sport even more. Yeah. So once I start losing, mm. it just makes me go even harder. And once I lose, I really don't want to lose again. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. 2019, that hit. I took it like a man. I came back home. I wanted to prepare. So 2019, I ran with the age group above me. So I wasn't really expecting that much. It's like yeah, Tabang, yeah. Lolo, and then we're all there. So I wasn't really expecting much. So, But coming fifth in the semifinal really did hit me because in the heat, I was first. I ran a PP. I was, I was feeling great. And then, yeah. boom, I just came fifth in my, in my heat for the mm. semifinals. So, so yeah, that didn't go well. So I came back home. I decided to go to tax. I started training. Everything felt great. And then I just started running fast, 10 5, 20.8 to and everything. And I was so happy. I was like, I'm finally gonna be SHM. And COVID hit. Nice. Then I, we didn't go to SAs. I couldn't really earn that title. Yeah. So yeah, I had to come back home stay in the house, try to keep fit. And yeah, then we go back, we go back to school, 2021. I start training. I start training harder and harder. Things were just feeling great. And mm. then uh, I ran, I started running. At the beginning, it was 10. For some reason, when I run, it's consistent times. 10-5, mm. 10-5, 10-5. This year was 10-3, 10-3, 10-3. And yeah, yeah, that that really hit me. And then I start training harder and harder. And then I finally just hit a ten one, and I got so happy I couldn't believe it. And yeah, that's how I got here, just by training hard and grinding my heart out. You see, that that's the difference. I'm uh, that's the difference right there. The grind, you know what I mm. mean. That that hunger. And I mean, like you, you mentioned your times. Uh, I see Paul Horace is laughing. He says, "Night clothes." Hey, that's that was your motivation. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I mean, that's I mean, if you look at your times, your hundred meter time ten one seven. You ran there at uh, Pochostro. Um, I mean, I yo, I saw that. I was like, "Hey, man, you know, we, we ended up. You were one of the candidates on my knees for athlete of the week. You know, seventeen year old running a ten one seven, man." Mm. That's, that's that's good i mean i mean i mean you you're turning 18 this year but you turn 18 you're like a december baby you know you're almost uh um you know whole you're 17 mm. the whole year uh and then you the the 200 you run a, a 20.63 as well you know there was another 20.65 as well and other time whatever but i mean those are th these are proper times you know these are these are solid times but let's go back let's go to sa um juniors SA under 20 championships, 100 and 200 meter. 2020, you didn't get your chance to win the title. 2021, you get the chance. How does it feel? Was it as as, as good as you thought it was? Uh, did it taste like water or what did it taste like? To be honest, I've, I've never, every time I've gone to SA, I've never made the finals, not even one. And I started going to SA in grade four. So Yo. grade four, five, six, seven, I went to SA, <laughs> I never made the finals. Yeah. Grade nine, grade ten, I made I went to SS, I never made the final. Yeah. In grade eleven we couldn't go. This year I I go to SS, I actually am one of the people that are most probably going to win. When I walk, people are busy looking at me and I'm and I'm feeling happy. Yeah, yeah. But in the heats I was running and while I was running someone looked at me while he was running and that that angered, like, made me really angry. I don't know why. So then, actually, making it to the final line, about to start, was so nerve-wracking. I, I, I was I was shaking. Yeah. But then I start, my block slip a bit, but, you know, you can't complain, you just go. Yeah. And I was, like, the, the first part of the race isn't for me. I cannot be on that. But then, I catch up, and I actually win. And... I was so happy. I put my hands on my head. I couldn't believe it because working for this since the age of 10 and actually Eesh. doing it, it felt amazing. 
And then mm. the 200 as well. I won that. It feels it felt so good, even better than I thought it would. Finally getting that gold medal for myself, not just for relays and just yeah, my yeah. own. It was amazing. It felt great. Oof, it's great, man, because you worked for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. You worked for it and to get it. Like, you know, yeah. like it's, that's a crazy thing. You know, it's, it's cool that you say um, you've been working for this thing since you were 10. You know what I mean? Uh, mm. Seven years later, seven years later, man. It yeah. Happened. And everybody thinks, ah, Benji's super talented, 1.9 meter tall, and you just win easy. But I mean, you put in the work. Hard work. <laughs> um, yeah. So, your favorite event, I know, like, you, I can already hear from the way you're talking. Uh, you're talking about your, your first half is not good, which, which already tells me which one is your, your main event. Uh, which one do you like more? Let's just let me ask you this question. Uh, to be honest, I love the two hundred, but <laughs> lately the two hundred hasn't been treating me well. It hasn't. I've been <laughs> losing there, and it really hurts me to say that. But I love the two hundred. But the hundred I've been doing good in lately. But two hundred is 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 the part that I really love. I really like that event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I I I, th I thought so, uh, but I mean, uh, like you would say that 200 has been hard on you, but I mean, okay, fine, let's fast forward, all right, let's fast forward now, you've got your titles, you know, you're an SA champ, uh, you're following in the likes of Sinesipo Dambile, the likes of uh, Gift, um, you, the likes of, uh, you know, a lot of guys that have, you know, won this title and it's it's made a big uh, a difference, you know, in their trajectory towards the future. But now here comes the uh, senior essays. What mentality do you bring into senior essays? Is it, um, yeah, tell, tell, tell me, I don't want to think for you. What, 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 what mentality do you bring into uh, essay seniors now? That was, I went, that was just, I did not know what to do. That was just pushing for time, seeing what happens, we'll yeah. see how far we go. Mm. And just seeing Wait for Nikia and Anaso and all of these people. Yeah. You just watch on TV and they demolish everyone. And a child who just started is getting better, is running with these people. It's unbelievable. I couldn't, I didn't know what to do. So I just left school knowing that I might do my best. If I beat Wade, I'll be happy. If I lose, I, I tried. Yeah. And I went heats, I was, didn't go great. I felt dead, no energy, nothing. Uh, it was like a twenty-one oh five or something. Okay. And then, yeah, then semis come as well. And as soon as I get out the blocks, I see Anaso catch up to me and beat me in the bend, which was heartbreaking. Like, seeing someone pass you in a race, it's like it goes in slow-mo. You can remember that thing instantly. It hit you. And yeah, everything goes in slow-mo. And I saw that happen and it hit me. So I had to catch up last, last hundred. And at least I made it to the final. And, you know, I slept. I woke up the next day. I stayed in bed the whole I was like, I'm going to save my legs for the race. I'm not going to walk, do anything that's going to waste my energy. Mm. So no, I stayed Are in you bed. Just time to warm up. Bed, eh? is, what, is that what you're telling me? Relaxing. <laughs> Eat a few snacks. Nothing much. And then we get to the final. And I go, I go warm up. I see everyone's looking good. I, was, I also felt myself like, okay, this might go great. Mm. And we go to the line. I see Wade there. He's having fun. He knows he's going to win. I was mm. like, let me try and make it hard at least. At least. I tried, but it didn't work. But, you know, <laughs> you, can't, you can't blame me. And then Wade goes, beats us all. And I'm fighting here, using all the energy I have left with these people. And we're in a line. We're mm. fighting. And, yeah, I just... Tried my best and I came second and I couldn't believe it. I was happy with that. Yeah. That was, yeah. What a year, man. What a year. Mm. SA seniors, silver. You know? Yeah. Um, SA under 20, gold and silver. PB is 10.17, 20.6. You know, I still think the 200, there's, a, there's, there's, there's something in the tank there. Just mm. have to uh, fix the engine. Uh, I know. I know the coach is already sorting out the speed and the legs, so that's fine. Definitely. Um, mm. 
So yeah, it's going to happen, man. And I mean, there's still juniors uh, later this year. You know, uh, yeah. if things carry on as they, they, they are, you've, you're going to be in Kenya. Yeah. Uh, dealing with uh, a lot of uh, foreign people for that gold medal. Yeah. Preparations for that. Um, how, how, how has that been? It's difficult now because all of a sudden you've had this season. It's long. Yeah? It's been a long season. Yeah. Uh, back-to-back races you've been running recently, then done well. Last race uh, you you won um, as well. Um, yeah. And um, now it's there's like a little there's a window now window period towards uh, uh, the, 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 the the junior junior champs. How do you keep uh, motivated and focused in this time? How are you and your coach working towards that? To be honest, is the most hardest part is staying motivated. Because yeah, training from the beginning of the year, one mm. essay is, you know, you feel like it's done. Like, mm. you've done everything you've wanted. So, mm. now you have to work for something else. And mm. everyone is resting or doing, like, not as hard things as you are. And you are grinding. You are trying to stay focused. And, yeah, that's really hard. Me getting up after school and say, let me go train. Let me go run. If you're mm. staying home... Being at home, yeah, I have to do something small just to keep the the fitness going. And, yeah, that gets hard. But, you know, some of us, this is all we have. Like, we have to work for it. You have, it's, it's the only way. So knowing that I want to get a world record, I want to run a nine, I want to do this. It's If that's what you have to do, things you have to sacrifice, it's, I don't mind getting up in the morning to train to be the best. It's, it, it's what I have to do. And that's how I've been motivated. And motivational videos as well, you know, those also help. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, man, you've become a lion now. You're, a lion is a, you're, the, you're the king of uh, what you're doing for your age group uh, mm-hmm. in South Africa. You're the man who is carrying the flag uh, for us when we were there for the 200 and 100. And what you have done is you've shifted into a place where not many people uh, get to play. You know, responsibility, the focus, everything now, man. You've become a, you know, you're a lion now. Mm. And lions got to stay hungry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got to stay hungry. You got to find a way, man. Stay hungry because uh, the work is not done. You've done a lot of good work, but the work is not done. All yeah. right. So, man, uh, but it's exciting, man. I'm excited uh, to watch how the juniors are going to go and so on. I think it's going to be dope. Uh, and yeah, to, just to see South Africa being represented by like such strong athletes is always exciting, man. Um, mm. Tell us about um, your, your role models. Do you have any role models coming up? Do you have one now? Uh, I used to, you know, love you saying both, but you know, Lately, I've just been focusing on myself, so I can't say I have a role model. I'm just, I can say I have a role model, but I'm trying to beat my role model. So, yeah, it's, I don't really have anyone in mind. Hey, it changes, eh? Once you start racing yeah. with your role models, it changes, eh? It's, all you want to do is beat them. You can't really think of them <laughs> as a higher person than you. They're on the same level, he's like everyone else. I want to beat his time, so... The normal human being to me. Mm. I see Sandile uh, McFly saying, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you see, uh, I see Vuyon Zove says, I see you on the Spotians. Um, I see Zama M says, proud of you, brother. Love to see it. We sing gold medals here. We sing brown hearts, uh, gold medals, trophies. I see Shoba Brand says, uh, this is your time, man. Keep on working. Keep on the faith. And you see the result, as you can see right now, there's more to come. Uh, I see the boy says, I love you, Sunny. Hey, there's a, there's a lot of love and a lot of positivity going on here, uh, which, is, uh, which is good. <laughs> I see Babu Sibeko says, young Richie. But okay, so let's talk about this, man. I think it's, always, it's, 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 it's good to hear from uh, somebody young. Like you said, you've got a lot of uh, goals and you've got a lot of... Um, uh, things that you want to do i mean running sub 10 in south africa has become it's possible like you don't even have to 
dream about being the first or anything like that anymore now you know most of it has been done um and working with your your coach obviously there's a plan how how important is it to set goals but also like working with your coach mention your coach's name and how important your relationship with your coach is you know oh well, my coach is Paul Forrest yeah and, big you know, Paul mm, to you have to trust your coach cuz he's the one conditioning you he's the one that knows what he's doing he knows how to he knows he knows you and he knows he, he needs to know you he needs to know your character he needs to know how you are so he can train you and mold you into the the, the person you want to be so if i don't yeah. trust my coach then there's no point of me running because my coach is the person who's going to make me get to that record yeah. make me he's going he's everything to be honest if you train with other coach that that's too hard it's yeah. it's it's unbelievably hard i don't yeah. have that um i don't have that determine I, i have that determination i don't have that drive like how am i supposed to train out someone telling me what to do it's impossible <laughs> so you need that coach there that person to tell you you're doing this today and yeah yeah so you need a coach who you trust and you know is going to do the best and knows what's good for you otherwise Absolutely. it really won't work Yeah man I mean I think it's it's important man and I'm saying this because you know to hear from a young person you know you can always they can always tell you trust your coach but but, but, but I mean the the truth of the matter of it is that you know behind the scenes when when you are sleeping or busy with your assignments uh <laughs> and your school and whatever whatever he needs to plan and and you know create a path that will allow you to reach now uh, your goals achieve your dreams and also you know um have you at the best place that you can be you know so yeah man big up to the coaches big up to coach Paul uh doing good work um mm. so yeah keep on that man keep listening yo mm. thank you and then this thing man i think this thing is also like uh super uh, important mentality you know i hear you said you watch a lot of uh, motivational videos um i'd like to hear what you're watching I don't know uh, I would like to hear what you what what type of stuff you watch to keep you motivated but um how, how important is mentality uh, for you you know like getting into a uh, race day getting into competition and so on what do you do to make sure that your mind is 100% like focused and you know that you at the the most potent and dangerous you can be every time you step on the line so so before that everything happens before race day it's not on race it's everything before yeah. race day yeah so, and night the night before i try to if anything bad is happening i try to cut that out focus on myself i stay in my room try to just be with my friends not anyone who can harass me or so and <laughs> that's where everything starts you need a good night's sleep <clears throat> and when you wake up yeah you go you go to the race but then I put my earphones in I listen to music I try to to block everyone around me because usually if I don't have music I'm looking at people warm up and when you're looking at people warm up that just gives you even more and lose focus I, yeah so I just put my music on and I focus on myself so what music and is it R&B is it R&B uh, what you listening I, to if you ask anyone I have the bad I've got the worst music taste ever i just get a playlist and i play it. if you ask any of my friends they don't like me playing music cuz music is not my thing i don't I, i won't lie i can i don't know that thing mm. all so right i'm just listening to mnm let's say nice music beats popping everything and then yeah and then as i go into the race i'm just i pray you know get in the zone and then once they say get set your mind just switches on automatically mm. and it's time to go mm. yeah i mean it's a process and i mean it's crazy how, how many times how many times you've had to do this process this year last year and so on and i mean even when you're in your room just sitting there you almost like playing yeah. the process by the time you get on the line you've done it so many times I mean it's it's crazy. Um yeah. so obviously I mean it's cool man you you've got uh, I mean your height. Hey man. 
What's going on? Eh? Is it, is it, is it uh, what, what, what is it? Uh, is it the jollof of rice or is it the, what is it? Why, why, why are you so tall, man? Is, is this in your family? Is everybody in your family this tall? My mom is tall. So yeah, it's in the genes. <laughs> yeah. I, it, they also, for some reason, my, my, my grandma is really short and my grandpa is average. So I don't know where I got the tallness from. I think something just happened and boom, I went to one nine. And I'm grateful for that because that's an advantage for me because I don't have these fast steps. I have to use my legs. I have to, I have to find a way to be fast. Yeah, stride, stride length. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, so ob- obviously, uh, like you said, um, what is it? So, so yeah, you said, you, what is it? One nine. So I wanted to, to ask this. Did you play any other sports? Oh, I mean, oh, I was it always athletics. It looks like you chose athletics earlier, but were you ever into any other sports as well? Every sport, athletics, rugby, cricket, yeah. any sport, tennis, swimming, yeah. every sport. Primary school was everything. <laughs> and then high school, it became athletics and rugby. Those are mm. the two things I focused on. And then coming to touch, you have to choose. You have, yeah. I just had to choose. I had to focus on one and athletics seemed like the best option, you know. Yeah. I'm not oh. big and strong, so Absolutely, yeah. man. That's that's the, the choice. Sheesh. Um twenty twenty one. Right. There's two obviously, like we said with his world juniors. Uh cricket cap. <laughs> What's this guy saying, dog? I did play cricket in China. Uh, they, they don't believe even the tennis and the swimming, chief. These people, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, for the, what, what is your goals, man? If you were to think of, I mean, it's so it's so hard to say, you know. Um, but I mean, like you're making good progression, and what what would you say is is your your short term short term and long term goals in the in the sport? Because I know now, man, you must you must understand every time you clock a time, man. People are watching, hey, people all over the world, United States of America, they're going to mm-hmm. be knocking on doors. Um, there's going to be people all over, you know. But, I mean, you've done it. You've done everything so far that you've achieved. You've, you've done it back here at home um, in South Africa. So short-term goals and long-term goals, well, what, what did you say for you is, uh, is the most important things you're focusing on? We're going to wrap it up oh. soon. At the beginning of the of the year, with like a ten five, I was just hoping for like Patu's record ten o, try to get that by next year. Mm. But then, as soon as I reached the ten one, I felt like, you know, there's a lot more I can do. I can still improve on a lot of things in my race, and that could bring down a lot of split seconds. So, it it first started at ten o six, ten o five, trying to get there. But then I realized that Trayvon Bramell's got a record. That's a nine nine seven. That that I could try and reach by by the end of next year. So I asked Coach Paul, and he said, "You know what? We'll do we'll do whatever it takes." And that's what I'm trying to achieve by mm-hmm. next year. A nine. This is nine nine seven. I did a call nine. I hope to get a nine nine five something there because I want I want my name to be there somewhere. Where you can see it, like Benji did this. He's a world record holder. That's all I need. That's all I want. Sheesh. And yeah, Coach Paul, you heard it uh, straight from the young Hello. man's mouth. He's got faith in you. He trusts you. Um, and I mean, we believe in you, man. I think uh, stay focused, man. Stay humble. Enjoy it. Huh? Remember, you gotta keep enjoying it, man. You gotta love the sport because you're gonna be doing this for the next. Let's call it 10, 15, uh, 10, 15 uh, yeah, even more. Who knows, man? Let's 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 say fifteen years. That's yeah. a long time. You know what I mean? Say what I'm saying. So you, yeah. you still gotta you still gotta love it. You still gotta find ways uh, to keep enjoying it. You know, everything else will always come, man. Everything else comes, um, but I mean that's where you're heading towards. So yeah, keep at it, man. Uh, keep working. Keep your head grounded, and uh, things will will fall into place. A message we need to wrap it up what message do you have to the people number one the people who logged on to watch this evening um what you gotta say to them uh, let me think 
<laughs> is it like a motivational thing or do I just say whatever I want? Whatever you want, man. It's, I don't want to tell you what you say. Just do your best, try your best, and everything will come at its own time, whether it be later on in the future or the second you ask for it. But, you know, as long as you hope, believe it happens, maybe it will. But even if it doesn't, you still try your best. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Powerful stuff. Uh, message to young guys, young bambinos, the young fellas that your age or even younger that might say, hey, man, I want to do what Benji is doing. What message do you have for them? It's it's a quote. It's a one quote that I live by by um, one of the motivational speakers that I that I um, listen to. His name is Eric Thomas. That's that's one of the great motivational videos you should watch by Eric Thomas. Right. I got it. Said, um, it. When you want to succeed as much as you want to breathe, as yeah. much as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. So if you really want something, sacrifice you sacrifice as much as you need to get it. So. Yeah, that's that's what I have to say to the people who want to be great in life, you know. Man, uh, that, that mentality, man, powerful mentality uh, for a young man. I see Kito says, I want to be like you when I grow up. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, but it's, it's powerful stuff, man. I think um, thanks for those words. Uh, thanks for being such a, you know, you, you might be 17, man, but you've got a good head on your shoulders. And uh, the future, the future is bright, man. Just keep working, uh, stay focused. You've got to finish that school as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to be looking out for you in the future. You know, there's going to be a more amazing stuff to come, man. So all the best. Stay focused for World uh, Junior Championships. And yeah, Hopefully. next year we're, we're going to be seeing some amazing stuff as well. Hopefully. Yeah. Ab absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us man really appreciate it all right to everybody who's been watching guys thanks a lot for tuning in uh this is uh back chat uh we were with the young man he goes by the name of benjamin richardson he joined us this evening we had a good chat i hope you guys enjoyed this one you'll see you again uh tomorrow we are back tomorrow we've got another athlete we'll be talking to you but otherwise it's thursday thursday Alyssa conley will be uh, chatting with the red fan sales so benji thanks a lot man appreciate it have a good evening. All the best for the rest of the week. Stay grinding. Bye. Take care, man. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye.